it's finished. Everton won. Manchester United won at Grinton Park, which means now we are only three points behind Chelsea, but Wolves win earlier against Tottenham. Ha <laughs> ha! Mourinho. <laughs> Funny. Um, by three goals to two, which means they're level on points with us. I'm not sure who Wolves have got um, in the next set of matches or Spurs either. I told you you were doing nothing at, uh, at Spurs, didn't I, Mourinho Libby's, eh? Yeah, I told you, didn't I? Yeah, you're not getting top four Spurs fans and you're not winning a trophy under him either. Ha! Take that. So on to the goals. The first one, it's a mistake by David De Gea. He's got plenty of time to kick the ball forward and then when he does, Calvert-Lewin's there, his purple pass continues as it nestles in the back of his net. Then another goalkeeping error. Um, we've had loads of those, haven't we? Those goalkeeping errors leading to goals. Lucky all the again. <sighs> Bruno has a shot and Pickford just goes through his body. You know, it wasn't a great shot. You know, we should have saved it. It was so simple. You know, if that shot came in against uh, Allison, uh, the Matic goalkeeper, Edison, they saved that all day long. You know, and it's not how you start, it's how you finish. You know, remember when Lukaku scored all those goals in his first season? You know, started well. Mkhitaryan, all those goals he got in his first season, started well. And then they tailed off, and then they fell off a cliff. You know, apparently Lukaku, right, was is better than Harry Kane. The only similarities between the two is they both scored against Farmers in the World Cup. And that's where it ends. You know? And VAR at the end, that should have stood. I have no idea why every single week in the Premier League these mistakes are happening with the referees and VAR. VAR is supposed to be there to assist the referee. Yeah? And the Premier referees are so inept that they don't know how to do it. And that goal that was chalked off, you will see that in the next couple of weeks or the next few months. That happens and the goal will stand. And it should have stood. Maguire lucky to stay on the pitch against Chelsea and lucky that VR ruled that out. Two decisions have gone for him. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But we're not going to get top four anyway. We've got Man City and then Spurs as well in the next game in the league. So I thought McTominay play well today. I thought we defended very well in the second half. Maguire and Lindelof heading balls out like nobody's business. But for me, they were just poor crosses, really. Nothing diagonal, nothing that, you know. It was meat and drink. You know, if it was a significant cross into the box, if it had a lot of pace and power and penetration on it, they don't deal with that. Um, but Tommy Brunin, Matic, his usual self. Uh, Lindelof was very good. I don't think he's a very good player. I don't rate him. But Maguire has cost us more games than he has goals. Has Lindelof missed a sitter to stop us winning games? No, he hasn't. He's never been there, but Torres are having a go at it. You're running out of scapegoats. First it was Fellaini, wasn't it? Then it was Ashley Earn. You know, you're running out of them, aren't you? At a rapid rate. So you need to pick on somebody, don't you? You don't say anything about Maguire and his miss sitters, do you? And we all know a reason for that. Because they don't want to lose views. They don't want to... If they lose views, they big channels. They don't get the revenue. People unsubscribe. They don't get the cash. You know, so they have to, you know, um, you know rim uh, the players that they like. Because they know other fans like them, you know. But I can't stand Maguire. I think he's absolute load of shite. He might be your captain, but he's no captain of mine. I can assure you. Yeah. So Chelsea obviously play Everton um, next week. So I'll be keeping my BDI on that. Hopefully a Chelsea win again. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, hopefully for Leicester win, and uh, we'll see what happens in the Manchester derby. Won't we? But that's going to be a tough game. Um, but Man City are a fantastic team and I think they'll win today in the Car Carabao Cup final. Um, I think they won it last, what, five out of seven years? You know, I think they're on a, could be on a hat trick now of Car the Carabao Cup uh, wins if they win it today. So yeah, so we've got Derby next in the FA Cup. You just know that Gomez is going to star that and he's going to score. You just know, don't you? Just to annoy me even further. You know, I was hoping and praying he wouldn't score against Club Bruges. And I was going, thank God he didn't score. If he scores, you know what top reds are going to say. Oh, it's going to knock you sick and not me sick anyway. So, hopefully he doesn't. And apparently, Gomez is on the verge of signing a new contract. Scandalous. I am sick of it. 
awarding failure. What has he done in the first team to warrant a new contract? He's getting too much to you and he has shown nothing in his performance in the first team for Manchester United to say, yeah, contract for life. He shouldn't be at Manchester United. He only scored in pre-season because Juan Mata um, you know, gave the ball to him. And that's about it. He's not a good player. Chon is not a good player. They're just not. You know, Garner, he's not a good player at all. But Tomine is better than no feeling put together. You ask Lou Macari, he will say the same. Why are players who've done nothing in the first team, but only the reserve team, getting a new contract without playing their trade? You know, he knows all about young players getting too much too young. And that's what's happening here. He's declined a contract, but looks like the club are giving in. You know, but I'll you know do a video on that. I think it's going to happen, unfortunately. But I'll save my anger and you know bottle it up um, until that is official. So thanks for watching. I'll be back after the derby game where Wayne Rooney will play against his former club.